Sano Tatakatsu, Sano san, you have a very long career at MITI, uh, the Japan's Ministry of International Trade and, and, and Industry. At the moment, we have Donald Trump making an Asian tour. I think he, at this precise moment, he may even be playing golf with Shinzo Abe. But we obviously have potential trade tensions because of the president's uh, policy or views on international trade. How do you view the trade problems and tensions in East Asia and across the Pacific? Well, I think the, just before the Mr. Trump, the President Trump was elected, everybody really thought that the United States is pursuing to get the TPP concluded. Even though this is really the sum of the domestic pressure in the United States is a little different from what the US government led by the President Obama uh, is different. But still, we thought that so we can create this TPP. And this is that the, really the masterpiece for globalized the trade and investment. And we thought that this is a really high level the treatment as it's a treaty amongst all these members. Twelve countries led by That's the United right. States. That's right. And this is really in, 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 in particular for Japanese government. The TPP is not only the regional or some kind of what to say a multilateral agreement. This is the uh, agreement between United States and Japan included. So this is the most important part of the TPP for Japan. Yeah. So when the United States decided to kick out, the walk out from the w uh, TPP, it's really the big damage for us. And we thought whether we, can, we had better to pursue TPP 11, mm -hmm. or we had better to just decide to go the completely different way of having bilateral FTAs and so on. But do you f regard the TPP as always excluding China or not? Well, the TPP, the present Abe's government is the pro-United States, but something anti-China. So, the, and as you see, as you see that the, even, the, even the WTO, whether China is the uh, market-oriented economy or not, so the economic status is still quite a vague issue. And we, we are having another talk within the Asian region, so-called RCEP, RCEP, which is mainly this is with the ASEAN countries plus China, Korea, and Japan. But at that time, we thought we are a little concerned, or maybe more concerned, that the level of agreement may be quite low than our expect, expectation. Because China cannot accept some of the market-oriented economy type of the uh, solution of what so we, we really wanted to have. So in that sense, the TPP without China, once that was created, sometime we can invite China to come in with high level, the, uh, such a standard. Well, let me ask a final question then. Let's assume that the United States, its decision to leave mm -hmm. the TPP mm -hmm. is irrevocable. Mm -hmm. Will there come a time when you do actually invite China to join? But before that, TPP 11, we are very much expecting the TPP 11 will be agreed yeah. without the United States. And if once that was created, well, we can say that we can extend the invitation to the United States first. Yeah. Why don't you come back? Yeah. And the second one is when? the China or Korea is, are interested in the coming into the TPP 11. At that time, we can say that the level of the TPP 11 is so high, and some, uh, there is some hurdle yeah. for China to clear 
And if they are there to do so, well, we can just replace from the RCEP agreement to TPP agreement. Well, let us hope very much for the best on this. So that's, uh, that's the really challenging it's thing. A, that, uh, it's a, in my opinion, it was a very good process, the TPP. So let us hope for the best. Yes. Sano-san, thank you very thank much you very indeed. Much. Thank, thank you. you.